Hi everyone, my name is Michael Zhang. Let me continue to introduce you about our Amoeba IoT in open source area. The maker culture is a technology-based extension of DIY culture. Recent years, it increased all over the world, especially in India. I have noticed that there is a community called Makers Asylum, which is India's first community on open source for makers. There are many products information listed on our homepage. Uh, feel free to look for the information. To talk about the open source, I'm going to introduce the evaluation board and its features first. The eBaby AMB23 is the latest product that using RTL A722DM, which includes an ARM Cortex M23 low power core and Cortex M33 high performance core. Power shift strategies are running between high and low power core. For connectivity, it has dual band Wi-Fi in frequency range 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. In addition, Bluetooth BLE 5.0 is supported for lower power wireless communications. It also has integrated hardware audio codec supporting dual channel input and output that up to 96 kHz sampling rate and 24 bits sampling depth. Besides the codec, it has a single channel onboard microphone and a 3.5 mm audio jack for direct audio signal. Also at the bottom of the EVB, there is a micro SD card adapter. User can define two LEDs and one switch on board. A standard set of peripherals such as GPL, PWM, ADC, s c SPI, UART are also included for interfacing with common sensors and output devices. Besides all above, the size is 37mm and 60mm, the smallest EVB of Amoeba IoT so far. The EVB AMB21 uses the RTL A722DM chip too. This means it almost includes all functions that AMB23 has. AMB21 has a higher set of peripherals compared to AMB23. It has more GPIO, PWM, SPI, and UART. Besides all above, the size is 71.3mm and 78mm. After all hardware introduction, let us move to software side. Currently, all SDKs are listed under our GitHub channel. GitHub is a provider of internet hosting of software development and version control using Git. It is the largest source code host as of November 2021. There are four repositories I'm going to introduce to you. Documents, Amoeba D SDK, Amoeba D Arduino, Amoeba D Micro Python, HDK, SDK, API, and example demos. So, for example, let's go to Amoeba Arduino page. Everything is listed down here. There is another white page by Reader Docs. It not only has all information as home page, but also allows maker to contribute. All the online document resource can be edited by GitHub channel. The first type of open source SDK is our released standard SDK. The SDK is primitive but less limitation. All EVBs are able to use the SDK. Besides, GCC and IAR compilers are supported. Users have the freedom for the choice of compiler. AMBD SDK is for both AMB21 and AMB23. 
Amoeba also supports Arduino, where third-party EVB is under Arduino Developing Environment, Arduino IDE. AMBD Arduino SDK is also for both AMB21 and AMB23. The last SDK is MicroPython SDK. Supports both AMB21 and AMB23. One thing I want to highlight is that the SDK is becoming official third-party development board. Therefore, in future, the official MicroPython SDK will have Amoeba board and all latest updates will sync with MicroPython official GitHub channel and homepage. We do have our community of open source. Let me show them one by one. So firstly, our homepage. Indeed, it has all information that you need to use Amoeba LT, HDK, SDK, API example, and so on. Next is the cloud resource, which is GitHub channel. Like I have explained previously, it has all resource codes stored online. Next is the video channel. Currently uh, is our YouTube channel. We had already recorded many technology videos and demos. Next is our technology support channel. It is our forum. The forum has different categories. Some boards will have its own category, for example, BW16. Last is the community page. It is our Facebook group. We can discuss anything here and it is a very good channel that we can share our own story with Amoeba IoT. Amoeba IoT open source team is working hard and willing to have more communication with talented makers like you. There are some future trending. Let us recall the EVB introduction part. We will notice that the EVB size is getting smaller and smaller. The dimension trends to be more convenient and portable. Modularization is another trending. We are just at the starting point and seeking more opportunities to cooperate. Enhance wireless communications. There are many new technology coming. All the latest wireless communication technology will be supported. AI is the most popular technology in recent years. ALT is merged from IoT and AI. So Amoeba Open Source SDK already had some outcomes with AIoT. There will be more supports in future. To talk about AIoT, there are two key technologies that empowers AIoT: cloud data and analysis, and 5G network. Let me explain in a simple way. So, for cloud data and analysis, it stores and processes in the cloud that saves both computing power and energy on the local side. And for 5G network, it is a massive data communication channel. Therefore, the more data transferred, the better performance. So let me show you a demo about how to use TensorFlow Lite by Amoeba Open Source Environment. Hello everyone, let me demo to you how to use the ALT for Amoeba family. And we're going to use TensorFlow Lite platform for all the example demo. So in order to use TensorFlow Lite with Amoeba, so we have to install two things. The first thing is TensorFlow Lite zip library for Amoeba. And then second one is the TensorFlow Lite patch for Amoeba. So both of them are under the Arduino environment. So to install the zip library, we just click the link and then we go to the GitHub and download the zip library and then install under the Arduino IDE. And for the patch, we do the same thing, click the link and go to the GitHub 
and download the patch and then copy and paste the patch into our Miba Arduino environment and then we can run the uh, demos so I've already downloaded these two inside the folder so later I will show you how to install both of them so let me show you how to install the TensorFlow Lab patch so first of all we just open the readme and all the information that are there so basically it's copy and paste okay we just follow the instruction we'll do so go into this and copy the two folder and then we just go to the the path so right click okay then the patch installation will will do and then we'll go back to the zip library installation so basically it's same to all the arduino zip library installation so we just open the arduino ide and then go to sketch and then include library and then we find the add zip library after that we just go to the uh, zip library path and the, install the zip library Okay, the Arduino ID will show you that the zip library is already added. So after that, everything for TensorFlow Lite and ALT demos will, will be set up. So the rest of thing, we just follow the online guide. We will see all the demos. In this video, we will look at the demo of TensorFlow Lite application on RTL A722DM mini board. This video explains some background knowledge of how the Hello World example triggers the LED blinking using the deep learning model in TensorFlow. The workflow of how TensorFlow Lite works is quite simple. Firstly, we are using TensorFlow on Google Colab to train a deep learning model or algorithm. To generate the TensorFlow Lite for microcontroller, this quantized model will be converted into a CSOS file, which is capable with TensorFlow Lite. Then, TensorFlow Lite will load this C file and do the real-time onboard computation. This Hello World example is using a rather simple model. This model takes a value between 0 to 2 pi as input, then output a value between minus 1 to positive 1. This will result in a model that can take a value x and predict its sign value y. Both number of hidden layers and number of hidden neurons will affect the prediction results. The two images above are showing two different neural network structures. Comparison of the prediction and the actual values are shown in the two images below. Apparently, Prediction results of the model with more hidden layers and a greater number of hidden neurons has a better prediction result. This statement is not always true, but it fits in our case. This is the diagram we will use in this video. We connect the LED to pin 7, which is a PWM pin. Now, let's have a look at the demo. We can see pattern in the serial plotter of Arduino IDE and the LED blinks according to the signal pattern. This is the end of this demo. In this video, we will look at the demo of TensorFlow Lite application on RTL A722DM Mini. Basically, a voice recognition neural network is trained with TensorFlow Lite to respond to certain keywords, like yes or no. Then this neural network model is deployed to an embedded board like Amoeba RTL A722DM Mini. When it detects yes keyword, the yellow LED will light up. When it detects no keyword, the red LED will light up. When it detects keywords other than yes or no, the LED will remain dim. This is how we connect the LED to our RTL A722DM mini board. The microphone is embedded on our board. 
Now, let's have a look at the demo. Hi. No. Yes. No. Yes. Bye. This is the end of this demo. In this video, we will look at the demo of TensorFlow Lite application on RTL A722DM miniboard. A person detection neural network is trained with TensorFlow Lite to respond to whether a person is detected or not. This is how we connect the camera and LED to our RTL A722DM miniboard. When it detects a person, the green LED will light up. And if there's no person detected, the red LED will light up. Now, let's have a look at the demo. The blue LED flashing once every few seconds, indicating that it has finished processing an image. The red LED will light up if it determines that it has no persons in the previous image captured. And the green LED will light up if it determines that there is a person. This is end of this demo. Amoeba leading the trend of maker community. Amoeba has flexible and high compatibility of open source platform. Amoeba always being the top of new technology trends such as AI. So if you wish to find more, please scan the QR code and surf our homepage. And thank you all. We are reached the end of my presentation.